Boy Swallows Universe is the perfect drama if you're searching for a show that has its fair share of highs and lows. The new Netflix series is Annalie, who encounters a number of issues that might change his life, and is based on Trent Dalton's novel. Boy Swallows Universe chronicles the young child's journey from a drug-addicted mother to a drug-dealing stepfather, tracing his life as it appears to be improving in his later teenage years. In the final two episodes of the series, Felix Cameron is replaced by Zach Burgess, marking a dramatic shift in the role of the main character. From a bouncing young tween to a teenager determined to provide his mother Frankie the best life imaginable, we see Ellie's development. In the last episode, Ellie's longtime pen friend unexpectedly makes an appearance to save the day. But what happened to Ellie in the end? At the conclusion of Boy Swallow's universe, what happens to Ellie? The lads think that Teddy, Frankie's abusive lover, gave up Lyle and caused his absence. But Alex Bermuda steps in and rescues the day. In order to help Ellie launch his journalism career, Alex gives him a tape recorder at the climax. Ellie uses it to capture Alex's life story and gives it to local newspaper editor Brian Robertson. After demonstrating his value, Brian eventually starts to take him seriously and gives Ellie a minor employment offer. For their efforts in collecting money for children with disabilities, Gus and Shelley are nominated as Queensland champions. Ellie finds out that Titus Braz, Lyle's old supervisor at the prosthetics plant, will be hosting the celebration. Ellie's curiosity in interviewing Titus is piqued, but Caitlin challenges him about his motivations for speaking with the businessman, who has a history of questionable behavior. Ellie comes clean and informs Caitlin about his background, including the fact that Ivan Kroll sliced off his finger and that his stepfather vanished. After some research, Caitlin discovers information that connects Titus and Ivan. She submits her discoveries to investigator Tim Cotton, who completely disputes any knowledge of the relationship. Naturally, Cotton is dishonest and later tells Ivan about Caitlin's discoveries. Nevertheless, Ivan kills Cotton and buries Tim's body with a truckload of cement. The teenager is then dispatched to Titus's Brookfield home with Caitlin on the day of the Queensland Champions Awards event after Titus directly asks Silly to interview him. Gus passes out while traveling there after seeing visions of a brutal attack. When Gus answers the red phone downstairs in the vision, he asks himself whether it's him from the future, but he doesn't receive a clear answer. He fears that Lee could have been involved in the knife assault and that the vision is a glimpse into the future. The businessman and Lee start talking at Titus's house when a dead bird flies through the glass. Ellie is reminded of the proverb that Gus had prepared for him in the first episode, your end is a dead blue wren, which didn't make much sense at the time. After Titus questions Ellie about their true identity and purpose for being there, the two depart. While driving away, Caitlin advises Ellie that they ought to hold off on searching Titus' house and the surrounding area until after he departs for the event. However, Titus notices the two as he is leaving and calls Ivan to give him the order to get rid of them. Upon entering Titus's research facility, Ellie and Caitlin discover that Titus is maintaining dead bodies and body parts as a peculiar form of illicit farm. Ellie regretfully discovers that Titus is using Lyle's brain for his strange studies, and he uses this as proof that his stepfather did not simply vanish. Just before they're ready to depart, Ivan enters the bunker and tries to shoot at Ellie and Caitlin but they lock him in the entrance, with Caitlin using an axe to hurt Ivan's foot. Eventually, the two are able to get away, and Ivan, while injured, gets back on his motorbike and follows them. After arriving at the awards ceremony with Caitlin, Ellie assaults the stage brandishing Lyle's skull as evidence of what Titus has been up to. When the police show there to take Titus into custody, Caitlin sees Ivan approaching and he quickly stabs Ellie before slashing Robert's throat. Ellie staggers up the steps, trying to escape, leaving a trail of blood that Gus and Ivan each track up to the clock tower. When Ellie falls to the ground, Ivan steps on the blue wren by his side and kills it. Ivan is ready to stab Ellie once again when Gus charges in, forcing Ivan to fall through the glass to his death below and out of the clock tower. At the end of Boy Swallow's universe, who perishes? After that significant fall from the clock tower, Ivan is obviously dead, while Robert is well and has healed well despite receiving a deadly wound to the jugular. It turns out to be a dream, despite the moment where the red phone rings and Titus is ready to enter Ellie's hospital room with a knife. Actually, Ellie is okay despite having also been mortally stabbed and seemed to not have much chance of survival. Ellie wakes up in the hospital with Caitlin at his side. Before Ellie's family arrives, the two are on the verge of kissing. Ellie, Gus, and their parents Frankie and Robert are shown enjoying dinner in the last scene, during which Ellie completes the manuscript for his novel Boy Swallows Universe. Thanks for watching, and if you're new to channel subscribe and click the bell, so you don't miss out latest videos of Media Breakdown.